lot of nostalgia to White Castle. And, and like I say, the sandwiches, it's a taste you can't live without. I mean, when you love it, you love it. You gotta go, you gotta go to White Castle. There's no place to satisfy that taste. And like the old saying goes, all hamburgers would be the same if it wasn't for White Castle. We don't, we don't fry our, our sandwiches. We, we set them out over a bed of onions and there's five holes. The five holes, cook both sides of the meat at the same time, allowing the steam to go through the holes to capture that into the bun, which softens the bun, the bottom head will look the top. So you really have a true balanced diet when you actually put the pickle on, you've got everything you want to have with that sandwich. Okay. I like apple method. Okay. Well, like apples are about 80% of our business, and we receive burgers, double, whatever, okay? So that is just the whole operation. And it starts by taking the, the onions that are brown. Now, these are left over from the size that we made before. And what these do is this has a lot of the flavor of the meat and, and, the, and the castles that have been on before. So we do save these. We have a lot of people who come in and want extra onions because that's, that's a real, a real piece treat. We have this little template here that measures out the right amount of onions. It's about eight ounces of onions, okay, on each side. Fill that little baby up there for a little... All this is is onions and water. There's no grease or anything like that in there. And we take this and we mix it around. Mix all the onions together. Then we spread it out on the grill. And what we see, you know, at the castle, you don't want anything more than a dime showing. You know, and you want to, have to put a dime anywhere on the grill and and uh, make sure that there's always an onion touching it, so you need to spread them on nice and even. Okay? Next we go to our meat, which is down in the freezer here. And then these are the meat that we have, five holes, unique, there's a patent on them. One of the unique things White Castle's done. Start at the bottom here, and you work your way up. Now we're gonna put 30 on each side here, equal distance between all of them, so they, you don't uh, touch each other. Then you take your salt and pepper mix, then in the back corner, and go down each and every row, seasoning perfectly. What we're going to do is we're going to put these buns on here, and they're not going to, one of the reasons for the holes is there's no, you don't have to flip them at all. Okay? When they say, you know, we're burger flippers, we're not because we don't flip them. So, okay? Take each set of buns, and you break them apart, flip them upside down, put them right on top. As you can see, I'm staggering. The buns here so a lot of the steam you know like i say the steam comes through the hole you get the flavor of the meat and the onions and stuff all coming through the buns that's what makes them nice and soft also someday your children or your children's children will hear stories about the takeout food order 100,000 white castle hamburgers recently spent 2,000 miles from the midwest to white castle lovers in arizona where they're not normally available could just any hamburger inspire this kind of loyalty? No, but then, a White Castle is no ordinary hamburger. Thank goodness they're available near us. Page. Do you remember him? Yeah. David Ruth? 
tell you their name was. Uh, R.E.M.? No, that's the other one. Black Crows. R.E.M.'s good. They're out of Atlanta, too. Collins. Now, uh, Clapton is a little slouch either. He's pretty good. Then. Well, I think I got really into that. You know? I'm into opera. And, uh, okay, example. Background music. And that soap commercial where the guy dips it into the thing and they got the opera in the background. That's the one I want to get. And then the other one from the Columbia Coffee. You know, they got that background music.
what else do you want? Well, you just want to ask me. butter and a sour and two. Oh, fuck. You go where the business is. And the business in Minnesota is in the inner city. And, uh, but we can only get so many locations within the inner city. Um, we have got locations in the suburbs, but most suburbs are, are, they close up at nine o'clock. Everything rolls up. And being we're open 24 hours a day, it uh, creates a dilemma for us. Uh, but we hire from within each neighborhood. And so I guess it's, it, when you live within a certain environment, it's accepted whatever that environment entails. So it's really not as serious a problem as what you may read in the newspaper. You like the people you meet in here? No, 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 no. no. Yeah. Yes. I got hamburger, I got chicken, um, uh, cheese, fish and cheese, uh, coffee, cinnamon, coffee, I'm driving, um, french fries, I like that cheese fries, cheese fries, oh, that's good cheese fries. Oh, do you two usually do this every week at this time of day? Well, no, see, tonight is a, it's kind of an occasion, but my brother ran down at Ramsey Hospital, he was stabbed, so, like, so we had to come get coffee for the family. Some of us who come in here, we come in here because of the fact, it's convenient. Yeah. And, and we chew this paper as opposed to others. I prefer some of the reason. But we come out here out of, 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 and they are making money. That means what is there. Yeah. For you, it's this issue of economic justice. Sure, that's right. And, 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 and beyond social justice, I'm concerned about what it is, what, what, how they look at this thing from a social justice. Right. Good point, right? Good point, right? The poor. The poor. The disenfranchised. The disadvantaged. And then you have a lot of crazy people coming in. I'm, I'm, I'm among them. I'm among that group. <laughs> well, I think the biggest thing changes, like, you know, the menu basically is the same. It really is since, you know, we get new products and, and try them, and if they don't work, we, we just continue them. I think the biggest thing I've seen is, is the, the, the employees themselves, you know. Now I think you get more people who not maybe don't need to work, don't want to work, you don't want to get paid for basically standing around. And, and when I started, you know, we, there's a lot of the work ethic. And that sounds stupid because a lot, you know, people who are 70 and 80 are saying, you know, the work ethic that they had. Well, now I can see what they talk about. Well, I don't know. You, you go down for the uh, the 25 year club and you're given a wristwatch and they wine you and dine you for three days. And we went around Columbus and limousines and and went to the country club and went to the Columbus, I think it was called the Columbus, the Columbus Club that Mr. Ingram belongs to. And uh, Mr. Ingram is the grandson of the founder. Founder, yes. Uh huh. And uh, they just wind us and dined us. I, I often said that you could have died down here and went to heaven, you would have been happy. <laughs> it was nice. It was very, very nice. So they really gave you royal treatment? Royal, VIP. Yes, yes, yes. Very, very, very much so. I don't know. Sometimes I feel that a lot of customers seem like they have the upper hand over us, even though they're wrong. And we still have to, like, look, you know, like we're under them, which is not fair. And sometimes our bosses, they be like, well, you got to do it. And, you know, I'm like, I don't think it's right. So you get a job and you're tired, physically tired. Here you're not physically tired. You're mentally tired. You're stressed out. There's a lot of stress working at White Castle, especially this because it's the busiest one, like the second busiest one. All right, well, I'm from Chicago, Illinois. I've been up here about 13 years now, which is uh, a long time. But, um, you know, other than that, I don't like it up here pretty much, but lately it's been getting boring since I have graduated, you know, and I'm ready to get into something new. You know, I want to move somewhere else. And as it is, I'm in the middle of making a record right now, so 
Just look for Black Market soon. That's the name of it. You know, it's rap group. Underground. Just stuff on TV now. Talk about White Castle. Okay. Now, on to White Castle. Have you seen some wild stuff happen there? I've seen a lot of things. Talk, talk Basically. All right. Let's see. Man. I could straight up write a book about White Castle and get paid. Now, what a... Let's see. Drive through, man. This is the best station back working back in drive through because that's where all the interesting things happen. And then you get people coming through the drive through. <laughs> okay, here's something funny that happened. Now, I remember one night I was working 11 to 7 nights, and you had these girls come through here in this Jeep, right? And I guess they was at some party or something. They came through half naked and stuff. They was wearing bras. Then the other girl they had nothing on. Y'all want all this on there? <laughs> and then it's like everybody that came around back looking out the window at them and stuff. Then they was inviting us to the party. And I was like, oh, man. You know, this is true.
They gave away cups, glasses with, uh, I forget when it, but it's been in existence for 70 years. And it started out just a real small little place, and it just expanded through the years. And I hope it never goes out of existence. <laughs> 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 say that, especially, but uh, I'll say it, I'll tell you, boy, boy, brought me out here, I, I went to Hazelden, and I went, uh, came in, came into, uh, what was it, I went in the team house, they just tore that down, that's where I'm at, yeah, and, uh, he don't remember that. I don't totally remember that, no, I don't, but, uh, I went into some, uh, I went into treatment, you know, for, for, uh, alcoholism and drugs. Most of the drugs, you were a heroin addict, man. No, I wasn't a heroin addict. Yeah, you were. No, I wasn't. Were you able to beat it? Well, I quit, I quit drinking for five years, and I quit smoking cigarettes for eight years, but I'm doing both again. Doing both again. Uh, smoking cigarettes, and I'm drinking beer. What do you think the problem is? The problem is? I don't think there's any problem with it. Well, I'm from Rice Street. If you're born right around here. Remember like now so what that car? Yeah. My aunt my As a matter of fact, it used to be downtown St. Paul. This and downtown. Right. Yeah. Car house. What was it like that described? It, it was like uh okay uh, you ever you ever watch Happy Days? Huh? Just like it. Just like it. We come in here, I had a fifty seven ship. Yeah. I'd come rumbling in. Yeah, I'd park right over there all the time. Yeah. And my Aunt Nancy would come up and say, Yo, what do you want, Cor? <laughs> yeah, how about uh, three, four hamburgers? You know how much they were? Eight cents. <laughs>
the park where you vote. You would see the same group of people, different faces, but the same type of people there. And the amazing thing is all the White Castle management tolerate. It's tolerate. It's like they're part of the, if they accept the community the way it is. But I come in here for the atmosphere. It is America. I can't go any other place and be and feel like I'm a part of it. I feel like I'm American in here. All you, all you have is all American. All American people. Okay. You, you know, they're, they're beautiful people. Not only that, uh, there's a lot of trouble here on this corner. People are afraid to come here. This is right at the university, man. The ghetto's right over there. <laughs> right? And you live in the suburbs now, I take it, is that right? I live where I can sleep. I just got back from Arkansas. You know, and uh, I lived there for And I'm years. from the Lower East Side of St. Paul. This is my baby. <laughs> we just met. A week ago. We yeah. didn't just meet. Talk to you well, anyway, but honest to God, everybody who went out stopped here. Well, actually, you've been out drinking all night. For some gut bomb. Yeah, I had to go for for some gun bomb. They used to call this the Black Shack. <laughs> yeah. Why? Well, because it's a white castle. Mm -hmm. And it was nicknamed the Black Shack. <laughs> They eat good food. Tastes good when you eat it, right? When you eat the food, you want to throw up. So, that's good. You drunk, you don't know nothing about the whole thing. I don't know how old you're going. And I don't like that. White House is cool. Whenever you eat food, White House is cool. Am I right? Right away. Oh, that's about right now. 